All right, greetings and peace, everyone. Welcome to the Committed Relationships and Spiritual Activity YouTube channel. I am your host, Neo, and I'm here to share some info with the people. New topic and a new psychological trap that I want to speak to you guys about. And this one is the fitness trap. Fitness trap. F-I-T-N-E-S-S -S, trap. This one has been going on for decades, <laughs> definitely decades. And they have been, world societies have been placing fitness to be an, um, uh, a major primary target for a lot of people and been putting it into people's minds to be, uh, be so fascinated with this human space suit that we call the human body. And you have to keep in mind that you are a spiritual being inside this human realm, this human physical realm that is physical matter. And now let me tell you this. So when you are an individual and, and, and that's that spiritual being is has a different mindset when you have a spiritual when you have anything that has a different mindset that was born to be something different but is placed in a different environment a new environment that is completely um fresh that individual is usually going to have a very tough time adjusting to that new environment so i'll give you a case in point imagine a cat being thrown in that was born a cat and has been living at least one or more years as a cat but it has been thrown into a cage a big a big huge enough cage for the cat to run around and the dogs to run around imagine the cat being thrown into the the cage with the dogs with all dogs and told to live like a dog <laughs> just imagine that just think about that just think about that. The cat was born a cat, lived lived her life with his or her life with his mother, his or her mother, and then for a year lived on, on his or her own, and then was thrown into a cage with a bunch of dogs and told to live like a dog. So now, that's the same thing with a human. You being this spiritual being, this cosmic spiritual being, well, some of us who are cosmic spiritual beings, other ones are just spirits. They're just energy. And, that, and that's it. That's why you can't really. That's why some people have a much more powerful energy than others, because they come from different star systems. And then there's some individuals who were just born here on Earth. But maybe I'll speak about that another time. I'll think about that. Um, anyways, so when you're the spiritual being, you take on this physical body. And now what the world societies do is they do whatever they can to get people obsessed, highly fascinated with this physical space suit. Now think of NASA, you know how when and you see in the movies where they're jumping around on the moon, on Mars or any other planet or anywhere else in space. Now just imagine that an astronaut his soul, his or her sole duty is to go and do recon on the other planet while they're inside their spacesuit. Now, can you imagine if they were commissioned to do their job, but instead of doing their job, they're jumping around the planet, walking around at the same time, looking at their suit and being obsessed with the suit and looking <laughs> looking for ac accessories to put on <laughs> on their suit figuring around figuring out ways to change the color of its suit how to how to put tint on their their helmet uh changing their boots trying to figure out ways to change the color of their boots uh trying to figure out new boots to put on and then you got nasa the dispatch back looking at what's going on and then they're looking at the group of astronauts like what the fuck is these people doing you have a job your job is is to do recon on the planet 
not to be obsessed with the space suit. Now, that is exactly what's going on with this fitness trap, this psychological fitness trap. People have been so obsessed with their space suit, which is the human body. And that's what this subliminal mind control for years has been going on. You see all of these uh, fitness shows and fitness commercials, especially always talking about you got to get in shape, got to get in shape, got to look good, got to look good and yada, yada, yada. Now, that is good to look good. It is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But where the problem problem lies is when a person gets uh, too obsessed with the fitness of their body. They're too fascinated with looking good. And that's a part of the ego. The ego is part of this human realm and the human body. And the ego is artificial and that wants to do whatever it can to continue to hijack an individual's higher consciousness. An individual's higher consciousness deals with balance. It's balance. It's like you can get involved with this human realm as a higher spiritual being. However, you must avoid getting caught in these psychological traps. And I mention a lot of these psychological traps, the main top ones, and I keep coming up with more and more of these. I keep spotting them <laughs> to keep spotting them. And I've been able to keep myself out of the majority of them. I've been doing very, very well. And if you want to see more of my, listen to more of my other psychological traps that I mentioned on this channel, you can go to my homepage of this channel, click on the committed relationships main icon of this channel this youtube channel and then go to playlist click on playlist and then you'll see psychological traps and then you'll see all of the other ones that i have uh recorded previously so now when you really there's a lot of people who got caught up in this psychological fitness trap where they're literally gym rats and their life is literally surrounded by them being inside of the gym them uh some of them are vegans or and if they're not vegans they're on a strict strict diet as if they're uh they're part of a goddamn beauty pageant uh bodybuilding event or doing a movie getting ready for a movie if an individual is doing something like that that is understandable however if, if an individual is just a normal individual that just goes to work every day and maybe go to the mall come home and they're not really out out and about for their people to even see their body that's really going overboard so overall i just want to say want to say is balance is most important and allow avoid allowing yourself to be overly obsessed with this fitness trap in your your getting your spacesuit in great shape because if you're not doing of anything important as far as getting your body in shape in great shape for anything that is of higher importance whether it's your career like you're you're going into a movie set you said you're getting ready for a movie you're a bodybuilder your model or anything of that nature then you got to really start to really analyze like wait hold up is it really worth me going through all of this adversity the blood sweat and tears and the anxiety right now as far as being getting in, in fit is it really worth it so just stop and ask yourself that is it really worth it I was in that situation this past summer and after a while I just realized you know what I'm not really trying to get into no movie and I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder so it does not make sense for me to try to get big and bulky so I was just like fuck it and I just left, left it alone so now it's like I can eat whatever the hell I want I can uh, drink whatever the hell I want even though majority of the time I just drink water but at the same time I still get exercise and I still know how to keep my body in good shape 
to where I still look young and still am slim and I can avoid being fat. So it's like if you can if you can do the minimum and still look good, then do that. But overall, I want to say just avoid allowing yourself to be so stressed out with this fitness getting in fit because that fitness trap is a psychological trap that world societies do to keep your ego inflated inflated and also um to keep you obsessed with your spacesuit and this human body is literally just a vehicle it's a space vehicle to, to get around this realm and you don't want to be too obsessed with it because that will distract you even more from your higher spiritual purpose in which there's a lot of people that are have been distracted with this fitness trap. And the way to get out of that is to stop and think and reflect on how you have been behaving regarding getting your body in shape and really reflect on it and analyze it and to really see if there you have balance, you've been behaving with balance or you have been going overboard. And you can also tell by how the people around you have been responding to you. Have you been in the gym way too much versus spending time with your loved ones? Give it some thought. Okay, my email is at committedrelationships at gmail.com. You can check all of my links in the description. I have my Committed Relationships ebook that you can check out. That is for free on the website and the link is in the description also. Um, please sign up for my <clears throat> email list on my page, my website page, so that you can get caught up with the new blogs and also anything else new with me. I will go ahead and keep people updated with that. Like, comment, definitely share whenever you can and wherever you can this link to this video, especially on your social network pages. And definitely subscribe if you like more information about relationships, spiritual activity, and also any new psychological traps that I discover and have personally analyzed that these world societies have been putting out in this world to keep people trapped. You definitely want to hit that subscribe button and make sure you click the bell button so that you can get email updates for whenever I do update a new video. And make sure that you view my previous psychological traps that I have recorded previously. Thank you very much and until next time. Peace.